So I got this question in my YouTube comments from Lindsay. She's asking, how do you get your memos to show up on checks after you pay bills? I have multiple accounts that I'm using when I'm entering the bills and I can't get them to show up uh, when I'm printing them out. When I use write checks, they show up perfectly. So for some context, let me go ahead and open up a check here. And I'm gonna pull up a check that I already have created with a whole bunch of accounts. So you look at this check specifically, and I have multiple expense categories being used and multiple memos being used. If I were to print this check, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. When I go print it, you get to see a clean breakdown, right? You get to see all the memos in the pay stop, in the check stop. So this is what you will print on an actual check that you will send to your vendor and you have that stop that rips away where you can see that. So I believe that Lindsay's question is, hey, when you pay a bill, you don't get to see all of those details. How could I essentially pull it off with a bill payment? Well, the short answer is you can't, right? So I'm, let me show you this bill payment here. I made this bill payment from this bill. So I have this bill that's similar to that check where I went ahead and have the memos here and the memos in the top part. Unfortunately, when it comes to uh, payments, when you print a bill payment, the only memo you can possibly get to show up is the memo of the bill payment itself. So the closest way to get that information printed on, on a bill payment check would be to actually, uh, and this is the way I do it, I transcribe the bill payment information to the memo up here. So on the original bill, I went ahead and transcribed all the information that was here uh, in the actual line items into, into something that would make sense if, if that would show up in a check. And then I would go into vendors, pay bills, select that vendor, and then go to pay selected bills. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. And I'm gonna go back to, before I print it, I'm gonna go back into uh, banking, write checks, fine, because I wanna look at that particular vendor payment, go to AVC Corp, hit find, pull up that bill payment, and notice that that memo transcribed over to the memo section of the pay bill. So when I actually print this, let me just print this, and I'm gonna print it as a PDF so we can see what that looks like. And let me open that up. Notice that you don't get the breakdown here the way you do it with a check, but you get it on the memo itself. And that's really as close as we can get. There's actually no possible way in a bill payment scenario to break get the breakdown of all the expense uh, splits that are being paid. Bill payments are a completely different scenario when it comes to printing uh, pay stops. You, could, you only see the bills that are being applied to that pay stop, not the expense categories. The other potential option you have what you may have is to print the bill itself. So if you go to print, you go to print, and you can print the bill. The bill's gonna have all the details. So if you really wanted that uh, pay stub to have some accompanying information about the details that are being paid, just do a regular bill payment and attach the printed bill next to it. That's really as close as you can get. So unfortunately, uh, that question doesn't have an answer that might be satisfactory for you, Lindsay, but that's the reality of it. The way. QuickBooks looks at uh, memo, especially with uh, printed checks, is very different when it's a write check versus a bill payment check.